Okay, now we're going to start talking about bootstrap confidence intervals. So prices of, rand of a random sample of 10 textbooks are shown. What does the sample mean? Remember, for the sample mean, you add them up, divide by 10. We do that. The sample mean is 100.1, so $100.10 is the average price. So how could we use cards to create a bootstrap statistic from this sample? So we're going to, we use 10 cards. and write the 10 sample values on the cards, one per card. We then mix them up. And draw one card. Record the value on it. and return it to the deck. We're going to mix them up. Draw a card. Record the value. And return to deck. We continue. Until we have 10 values. And that will be our bootstrap sample. So now, where will the bootstrap distribution be centered, and what shape do we expect it to have? So it's going to be centered approximately at the sample mean of 100. And we expect it to be bell-shaped. Now this next one, we want to estimate the proportion of Reese's Pieces that are orange. And we have a package of Reese's Pieces containing 55 pieces. So how can we use this one sample to create a bootstrap statistic? Well, basically the same thing as we did with the cards. We're going to first see of those 55 pieces the proportion of orange. Then we're going to put them back in the bag, shake them up, draw a Reese's Pieces, note its color, put it back in the bag, shake it up, continue this 55 times. That will give us one sample. And then we will continue it multiple times 
to get multiple samples. Or we could use stat key to do the work for us. And remember, this is under lock5stat.com slash stat key. Or when you're doing your Wiley homework, you will usually have a link to stat key if they want you to use it. So for the rhesus pieces, we'll do a single proportion. And we're going to choose the rhesus pieces orange. Now this sample is a little larger. This sample has 150, of which 72 are orange, for a proportion of 0.48. So approximately 48% of those 150 pieces are orange. Now, we could do one sample, 10, 100, or 1,000. Let's do 1,000. Okay, now we have 1,000 samples from this original sample. Now, if we look at it, okay, this point right here at 0.5, is telling us we had 75 orange out of the 150. Way up here we had 88 orange out of the 150 for 0.587 as the proportion. Now we can use this to find confidence intervals. If we click here on two tail, we have our 95% confidence interval. 2.5% have been cut off in the top and in the bottom, identified by these red dots. And we cut off the 2.5% because 100 minus 95 is 5, divided by 2 is 2.5. Actually, from the 1,000, we should have 25 red dots at the top and 25 red dots at the bottom. And our confidence interval would run from 0.4 to 0.560. So we would say we are 95% confident that the true population proportion of orange candies in a bag of Reese's Pieces will be between 0.4 and 0.56. So that's using stat key. And we will use it additionally in other situations.